Hello there, Mr. Leper. Whoops. <laughs> I keep doing nice that. Nice work, fledgling. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. Oh, <laughs> uh, I can imagine. You know of Beckett. Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? We traded words. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. I see. You better get back downtown. Prince LaCroix is going to want to hear all about this victory. Roger. Alright, so now we have the ability to go downtown. We do that by seeking out a cab. Where can we find a cab? Should be one. Shut your mouth, you crazy man. Alright, here's a cab. Alright, bro, take me downtown. Where to? Not here. So this just brings up the uh, whole game map. You can only travel between a few areas. And at the moment, the only other place uh, open to us is downtown Los Angeles. What? Uh-oh. I want to hold up there, buddy. Ouch! Let's drain it. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, Nick. Let's blow out his eyes and his tongue and his teeth. I want its teeth. Camera the fuck. Ouch. Boys. I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rows will get wet. Son of a Jesus. Bitch. Nice Please. beagle. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? <laughs> this ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with a Sabat and lives. Keep moving. Trouble sure seems to like you. That was Good pathetic. Effort. Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Name's Nines. Hello, Eights. Same thing that happens to a lot of Anarchs, Malk. But you already know that somehow, don't you? The hell's that Should supposed to mean? Be more careful, newbie. This ain't the Burbs. Well, you know, I'll let everyone. <laughs> Your face is familiar. Do you have a serial? <laughs> I love Malkavians. Things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. I like this stories. Is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. Well, trouble seems to find me, so I don't think that'll be too easy. Ladies and gentlemen, I bid you all welcome to downtown, downtown Los Angeles. This is the uh, second area that you come in the game and it is one of the more important areas it's got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, the primary characters that you run into it's also got some of the creepiest side quests from my experience first thing I want to do is just have a chat with this oh where is he? I guess he's not here there's a mar uh, sh I guess a merchant there uh, he sells some useful stuff and I kinda wanted some but no big deal, it's not really important for this part of the game. We need to meet with Prince LaCroix. He's one of the primary characters located here. There's also uh, Smiling Jack, the guy who helped us in the tutorial. And Nines Rodriguez, the guy who saved our ass twice. There's also this familiar face. You look familiar, Chief. We haven't met before, have we? Oh, yeah, back in Santa Monica, right? I don't know what 
came over me back there, but now I got this sweet night shift position, and I'm happier than the time I met Sipowitz. Woods. Ah, well, uh, enough about my lucky break. You, uh, here to see one of the big wigs, Chief? Big wig, no, LaCroix, please. Could that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation, or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Insurrection? <laughs> I have no suckling youth. Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. All right, all right. Yeah, Thank you. Uh, you have a good power meeting or uh, whatever it is you types do up there. You got it, bro. I'm out of here. All right, so LaCroix, we blew up the warehouse according to his instructions. Cannot use this one. I have to use this one, apparently. And uh, now we're really here seeking payment as well as, I guess, future employment. How you doing there, big boy? I have words for you. you. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Surprised you haven't heard it. Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Uh, the only person... Uh, we could condemn for impeding us would be Mercurio. I don't know why we can't talk about Therese. But she's dead now, so I guess it's not a big deal. Ooh, 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 shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Which one is the one where I... I, 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 I... I'm assuming the first one is where I do not condemn Mercurio. Malkavians are so hard to understand. Yes, yes, I'm sure it was quite an experience. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's end. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing, the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? A bit of espionage? Why not? Excellent. Were you by chance in the military at all? I was an officer myself, actually. In Napoleon's ranks. There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the Kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? Can't say that I have. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. All right. You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So, be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Roger, General. Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man said, Oh, you are sleuthy. Throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? He just wants me to uh, find him. Then, you should go humor the by the numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew. Oh, please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kind. Alright. I'm out of here. Anarch community. 
You got it, bro. So obviously he has some uh, some tensions with Nines Rodriguez and the gentleman at the last round. Where am I going? This way. Uh, that's because they're actually... I'll just explain kind of the background a little bit. LaCroix works for an organization known as the Camarilla. Um, I did some research on this just uh, just because I'm actually very intrigued by the whole setting, even though I've never really done anything with it before. Um, we're going to travel while I speak. Yes, I do. Uh, basically, the Camarilla are an organization of vampires founded during the Renaissance, and they're sort of mainstream their uh I guess their appearance is that of just enforcing vampire laws, protecting the masquerade, vampire traditions, which are basically just the laws. Um but of course, you know, any kind of bureaucracy has ulterior motives. They all have their own political ambitions. LaCroix is no exception exception as we will find out. Um they formerly controlled Los Angeles, at least the vampire operations there, and even they even helped, according to the backstory, helped uh, Los Angeles become as big as it was. They founded Hollywood and everything, but they were kind of driven out by the Anarchs, who really are they're just just the biggest competition. The Anarchs currently are led by Nines Rodriguez, the guy who saved us twice. And right now, there's kind of a power vacuum going on, and the camera are trying to take advantage of that to reestablish themselves. Right, so we gotta get out to the Elizabeth Dane. Was I supposed to... Shit. Ah, bollocks. Alright, I made a mistake. I didn't know we were supposed to go to the last round before doing this job. Alright, we'll see you there, then. Alright guys, welcome back. It's time to actually get started on this mission. And here's a familiar face. Whoops! That was so close. You, hey, what can I say? You preserved my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. Alrighty. What has Great Mercury said about I just wanted to make sure you knew my appreciation. And like I said before, if someone needs something, I can get it. This boat, for example. How fleet your feet. I tell it's you, so I hard. You guys got amazing thing. So hard to know what I'm saying. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to... Well, nice to know you learned your lesson. We can buy... Alright, he's only got... Looks like he only sells a revolver and a shotgun, so he also only sells the ammo for those. We don't really need ammo right now. We're not trying to kill people here. Uh, but, yeah, if you uh, if you told on him to LaCroix, I'm pretty sure you'd have to fight him here. He'd be really pissed off. So we just gotta jump on the boat. And a loading screen, and then we'll be on the boat. On the ship, I should say. Oh, lovely. Alright, so for some reason the game was crashing a lot when I tried to uh, get to this location. I did a quick uh, search on Google to find out how to fix that, and in case anyone else is having the same problem, I'll put a link to what I found. So this is actually a pretty tough mission. Uh, thanks in no small part to the fact that you cannot kill anyone. Now, there are two ways to do this, avoiding a bloodbath. And I'm going to show you the easiest way first. This does require some kind of persuasive ability. So you either have to put someone to uh, persuasion, which would be charisma here, or you can be a Malkavian. This guy is actually no real threat, at least not right away, so we can talk to him. Yo! Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting in these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. 
Alright, we use dementation on this fellow. This is still a badge you're talking to. And he is convinced that we are actually a reporter. Uh, someone who's paid him off earlier, so... He's gonna help us out. I you a copy of the initial report. And I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, brainchild. Roger, roger. Hold up a sec. Heinz to Marsh. Heinz to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Alrighty. Come the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly dally. In and out, okay? All right, no dillying outside. or dallying. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse, all one word. You getting all this? Uh, I got it. Move on. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Whoever Jacobson is, I don't care. All that matters is he thinks we're working for him. Hines to Jacobson, uh, Anderson. Hines to Anderson. Come in, Anderson. Come check this out. I just saw a baleen whale. Yeah. So he's talking to that cop over there. We just gotta wait for him to mosey along. And it's not that hard to sneak by him. Alternatively, you could go that way. I don't really know the difference. It, you might have to run into you might run into a locked door that way. In fact, I think you do. So that's really the the only other issue. But this is the simple way. From here, it's really not that hard at all. So this is by far the easiest way. So here's a security room up these stairs. There's normally a guard there, but the guard has moved out because of the call that that guy made. And here is the uh, console or whatever. So we look into control. He said the password was lighthouse, all one word. Accept it. All right. We got to check out the cameras. So enter that command. But well, what we also want to do is unlock all the doors. That'll make things much easier for this part. Now we switch the camera until we get a view of the deck. That's supposed to be the uh, sarcophagus that we're looking at there, but... Obviously, it's a little low res for us to see, but apparently it's all we really need to do. Now, number two is to... Uh, we got the police report from Heinz, the guy who talked to us. What we need now is the shipping manifest, which is right in here. If you did not unlock the doors with the uh, computer, this door would have been locked with a level three lock. I mean, level six lock. So it's actually, I wouldn't even be able to open it. Uh, and outside, it's locked by a level 3 lock, which would be easier to open. But the only safe way to, since this door does not open for some reason, the only safe way to get out there is from the camera room, or the security room. And, uh, if you don't talk to Heinz, then the guard will still be in there. Oh boy, oh boy. Now I'm a bit stuck. And once again, it's not hard to sneak past this guy. He hasn't even spotted us yet. So we just gotta bail out. And he probably has nothing more to say to us, so we can just ignore him. And that's that. That's the easy way. Now I will show you the difficult way. Somewhat more difficult way. So let's reload that save. Now this is assuming they... I don't know what would happen if you weren't able to persuade Officer Hines. It's possible he might like raise the alarm, so I guess we can find out really quick. Or maybe he would just kind of shrug you off and wouldn't really tell you anything, I don't no. know. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Hey, you're not Luke Jacobson! Yep, there's that. Alright. So, we need to avoid him. I'm concerned because 
last time he actually turned around even though I was sneaking, and the only way I was able to get... I did a test run of this, and the only way I was able to sneak past this guy without him turning around and trying to talk to me is using Obfuscate. I'm trying to work under the assumption that you might not have it. Yep, see, here he comes. Yo, Hallie, over here. You see nothing. Sorry, uh, investigator. Thought you were someone else. Carry on. Alright, so you don't even have to talk to him. But once again, this is not hard to sneak past. Truth is, I have no idea how you'd be able to pull this off without uh, obfuscate. Now then. So we can get in through here. This door over here is going to be locked. With a level 3 lock. We got. I need to use blood buff in order to open it, because I don't have the quite the lock picking skill I need. And like I said, this one's locked with a number 6, so even with blood buff, I cannot open it. So, next move is to get into the security room. And as you can see, there's a guard there. You might actually be able to sneak past him. Easiest way, though, would be to either use obfuscate or distract him with something such as this. Get obfuscate ready, though. We need to get out here. And from out here, we can open this. All we need is a skill of level 3. That uh, police officer behind us is turned the other way, so he doesn't see us. Now we have the manifest. And like I said, how you will pull this off without obfuscate, I don't have the foggiest idea. It is theoretically possible to distract... Actually, I might even be able to eat this guy without... Or feed on this guy, I should just say. Uh, without being seen. You do not want to kill anyone, though. There was another guard beyond those crates there, so it is possible we'll be seen. But we'll find out. Even if you do use obfuscate, you need a lot of blood for this part. Well, he's absolutely clueless. Problem is, now he's turned around. Oh, shit. Well! That did not go according to plan. I was not paying attention to my obfuscate levels. Did not need to use it so soon, but oh well. Now if you did climb up here, there's a wrench. You could try to chuck it, but when I tried that, the wrench didn't go anywhere. And the cop just completely ignored it. So. Thankfully with Obfuscate, this part is much easier. So without it, I don't know. I've tried doing this as a Tremere. And every time I tried it, it just resulted in a bloodbath. Which obviously LaCroix wanted you to avoid. And you can see there are a dick ton of cops. Here is the uh, police report. This is where you'd have to get it if you did not get it from Officer Hines. Be cautious. Oh, cannot sneak past that guy. Gotta go around the mo more open way. Always keep an eye on Obfuscate. And that's what we're looking for over there. You just have to get close enough for the experience reward to pop up, and then you know you've thoroughly investigated it, apparently. So it's not... not too risky, but... I mean, it would be without Obfuscate. I don't have the foggiest idea how you'd... I apologize for using that. Uh, idiom a lot, or term, or whatever you call it. Regardless, we gotta get out of here now. That's not a simple task, I fear. I can use it again. The only way I pulled this off last time was to try and basically go back the way we came. So, like I said, if you don't have obfuscate, this mission is your worst nightmare. Unless you are 
can use persuasion in the manner that I did before. Try not to bump into these guys. Those guys, they chat a lot about... Shit, I used Obfuscate again. I didn't mean to. They're basically talking about the incident with a sarcophagus, theorizing who might have uh, been responsible for it. This part's tricky. You might be seen here, so be careful. That's come back. You can sneak past this dude. From here, it's simple. Just gotta get back out. And it's not really any big problem. I'm I'm not even gonna bother trying to do it without obfuscate. If you don't have obfuscate, you might as well make your best effort to. Uh, use a security cameras. It really is just the best way. Like, no reason to do it any other way. It's the easiest no matter, no matter what clan you are, really. Now it's time to GTFO. Ladies and gentlemen, that is that. We have dealt with Elizabeth Dane. We have all the information we need. We just gotta get back to LaCroix. So see you guys when I get there.